What's up, Coach? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. What's up, man? We're going to cover Amari Nyblack, the number one tight end in the transfer portal, four on three. Uh, and he's going to be fun, man. We're about to see how much of a vertical threat we got. You know, you, you lose JT Sanders, but this guy can go deep. I'm excited. But first, you guys, make sure you like our video and subscribe to the Inside Texas Football YouTube channel. And always use promo code IT1 to get two months of InsideTexas.com for only $1. That's a heck of a deal. Come join us, please. But uh, Amari is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you know, when we got him in the portal, everyone was excited. But I think we, it's been a little bit more quiet now because it's, you know, it's off season. But let's get the fans excited, man. Let's pull up the first clip. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Coach. This is from the game last year versus Middle Tennessee. And I remember watching this game because this is the the game where Milrow kind of fumbled the snap and still picked it up and housed it. And it showed me how freaky athletic Milrow was. But and of course, Middle Tennessee State is, you know, not a Georgia with that with comparable athletes. But Amari will still show you here as a tight end that he can beat a safety. And that's a very important skill set, especially in the Sarkeesian's offense. Yeah, definitely. So just kind of let me drop the, the patterns. We got a, a basic or a deep in route here, here, and then uh, Nightbike is going to kind of release outside. He has middle of the field running the seam, right? Um, they're playing cover three match, so pretty much he threatens vertical, becomes man, it becomes man. He's playing hook zone. He has the deep third, which he ends up covering Nye Black, but Nye Black just runs straight by him, man. It's, it just shows off his speed from an end line attached to the all line of scrimmage. So here, y'all look at him. Now, I do want to point out, if you kind of look and see, he was attached. These guys were in sprinter stances, right? He was down in three point stance and he yeah, man, his hand in the tent. level as these guys at takeoff, like which is impressive for a big guy. I mean, he can move, right? Yep. You see, this safety is beat now. Like, you know, Milro sees it. He said, We got man here. This turns into man coverage. He's already in trail position. Even though he was playing deep third, he ate up so much cushion because he's so fast. Man, he can move. Um, works creates more space. This guy's playing his man. As you see, the safety's trailing. It's too late. Miro's let the ball go. I mean, it's a touchdown. Look how he adjusted the ball, right? Yep. He's not turning around, trying to catch it all perfectly, like letting it drop right in the bread basket, man, looking the ball in all the way, which is the way you're taught to do it. It's touchdown, and he's going to celebrate with in the end zone, man. Like, that was awesome. Yeah, that's a special type of athlete. Whenever you see him just striding down the field, he's skinny for a tight end, but, man, he, is, he has serious length. And once he gets up to speed, which we'll see in more clips, he's special downfield. Definitely. Okay, and unfortunately, Texas fans, this will be a painful memory from last season. Um, we did win the game, but man, I remember watching this one live, and, and uh, we can actually see that Amari is not just needing to catch the ball in the end zone. He can actually do some things with his legs after the catch. Yeah, so the catch takes the zone, brings this guy in motion. The corner doesn't travel. We're playing cover two here, so we got our cover two here. He's communicating to him. They're playing cover two sink. Drop middle, 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 and then we're going to drop this guy here. Uh, their concept is go vertical, the third in the safety. Same here. That kind of runs like a little zig route, and then Night Black follows, and then runs right here in the middle of the field, right behind the linebackers, right? Uh, nice concept, by the way. Steve yeah. snapping the ball. All the eyes are focused on the guys who are running vertical. This guy isn't a threat, really. As you see him kind of trailing, this guy's going to end up running the basic as he continues to go vertical. He's pushing vertical. Kind of get those safeties out of there. Kind of clear out the middle of the field, basically, yeah. uh, for my black, which is really rare because you don't see many people clear out the middle for a tight end, right? You really, you're really usually trying to clear it out for athletic wide out, but they got a tight end. They're trying to get the ball in space. And as you see here, work behind the linebackers. He's wide open. Now, he's open, but, you know, this is an easier throw here. We got pressure here, so let's go ahead and get rid of the ball. He sees this big tight end coming across the middle. Yeah. Most impressive thing is not just the catch; it's after the catch. What is he on the twenty-three yard line? He ends up scoring on this play, man. Like, yeah. Really, yeah. Impressive, right? Because it's you know it's three versus three, right? And somebody's unblocked here because they only got two guys that yeah. can block. And so here we go. Let's just continue to watch the play towards the end. Makes one guy miss. Makes a, and you would think he's going down here. There's two guys on him. Yep. It shows athletic ability, his strength, uh, just a. Willingness to fight through contact. Gets through here, get a little bit of a block in the back. I'm not sure what that was, but um, I would say it's all good. Isaiah Bond's on the team, so we don't count that against him. All right, I was gonna say former teammate, but he when he came to Texas too. Yeah. Um, and you see, he ends up scoring, man, and celebrating. Like that was an impressive play by a tight end, man. That's 
It's a Sunday type play. I'm looking forward to that, man. And then we got uh we got another play against old Kentucky. All right, so we have Alabama versus Kentucky, an SEC matchup, a team we're actually going to play. So it's nice to know that Amari knows how to score on these guys. So let's break down Kentucky. But first, let's hear a word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Andre the Lawyer. If you're injured, trust the team that secured millions for their clients and helped thousands of Texans with their injury case. Don't let insurance tell you what the claim is worth. Hire Andre the Lawyer to fight for you. Principal office is in Dallas, but they do serve Texans throughout the state. So don't wait and call Andre the Lawyer at 214-444-8808. That's 214-444-8808. Kentucky is going to play cover three. One, two, three. Um, curl flat, curl flat. This guy ended up playing curl flat. Um, Alabama's going to run all vert. I don't want to say not all verts, but a vert bubble screen. Right, this guy ends up going backwards. This becomes a blocker. So he's trying to just fake the screen here to get these guys to bite so he can get these vertical routes one-on-one, -on -one basically. Uh, good concept. And then this running back is actually going to wheel out and go vertical as well. So let's kind of take a look at it here. One thing I want everybody to look at is Nye Black right here. Right? He's not even in a sprinter stance, right? He's kind of just squatting, right? I want to, I'm going to show you all something that's really, really cool and show you how fast he is. Now, this is Isaiah Bunn, who is known for speed. In a sprinter stance, might I add, at the, at the start of the play, this guy's squatting and look at him keeping pace with him off the line. Like his takeoff and burst off the line of scrimmage is incredible. I mean, they're pretty much even right now. That says a lot about a big guy and his speed and what he can do, how he can threaten people vertically. Absolutely. Uh, but as you see here, I love this. Pass the linebackers, get your head around looking at the quarterback. Like, hey, I'm available, I'm open, right? These guys are kind of confused. He's taking him. This safety is taking his wheel route for some reason when he knows he has them, but hey, whatever. <laughs> he kind of worked the space and get open here, which is perfect. Gets his head around. So, hey, I'm open. Shows his numbers, man. Like, that's, that's textbook. Show your numbers. Don't get the wave in the hand and all that. Like, you don't want to draw attention. Just show your numbers to the quarterback. He should find you, which is what happens here. Look at him. Adjust to the ball, right? Didn't panic whatsoever. Got his hands kind of open. Got his bread basket open. He's going to catch it against his body. Um, I just thought it was like a perfect play. I mean, it may have been a busted coverage, but he still executed at a high level, caught the ball, and scored, man. Like, this is like what you want. Like, this guy can threaten you vertically up the seam, and he's, he does damage after the catch, man. That, this is a great pick pickup by Texas. I cannot wait to see how Coach Sark uses him in this offense. All right, Coach, so we saw the tape. We saw that he's clearly a vertical threat, and you know that's why Sark's eyes lit up uh, whenever he got him because – um, you know, he's going to move, he's, he's moving a lot quicker than Sanders, you know? And so that's going to be really cool to have a tight end that has receiver like ability. So I'm excited. So what are, when you're first looking at him as a coach, we already saw the really cool parts. What other questions are coming to mind? Are you wondering, you know, well, how does he look in the run game or, you know, how else do you use Amari Nye Black or do you need to kind of subset him with Gunnar Helm and Helm does more of the blocking duties or kind of, what are you thinking? How does he feel? Yeah. You know, and the way Sark plays, he lines up in a lot of 12 personnel. So you're going to see some two tight ends out there anyway. Um, one is more your traditional tight end, more than one a receiving tight end, right? You can kind of look at JT Sanders. He didn't really mix up in the run game when he came to block it, but, you know, it's time to throw the ball. You can throw it to him and trust him. Like, he's going to do damage. So I think you can use the exact same thing. You can use a Martin Knob like the exact same way. Um, you know, and I'm sure they're going to coach him up just say, hey, we need you to get dirty sometimes to go and block, deliver a block or stay on a block, right, and try to drive your guy. If you can't drive him, at least just stay on him, right? Stay on him two or three seconds. Move your feet, stay in contact, stay engaged. So uh, he's a physical kid, so we'll see if, he, if he's willing to do that. But I think the coaches actually get him right, and we'll see if he can uh, – they can just not have to take him off the field because he's blocking and receiving. Yeah, and Jeff Banks is going to work on that. And the AD was, of course, a receiver, but AD had some blocking issues earlier in the year. And by the end of the year, he was giving it his all and stuff like that. So that'll be interesting to see him grow to become a more complete tight end because the NFL is going to love the athleticism and the deep shot ability. But once he starts being able to, to motion and do split zone and all that stuff successfully, then the NFL is going to love him even more. Thank you, Coach. That was a lot of fun, man. Uh, really excited to break him down. It's going to be uh, – Defense are going to have some problems, man, with all these transfer receivers, this tight end. I mean, and Gunnar Helm, too. Gunnar Helm can block, but watch Helm's high school tape. That kid can go vertical, too. I'm on let Helm go vertical. 
please. Uh, so I'm really excited. So thank you, Coach. Make sure, guys, to like and subscribe to the Inside Texas Football YouTube channel and use promo code IT1 to get two months of InsideTexas.com for only one single dollar. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you, Coach, for teaching us.